Hi Taurus, welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for May. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, these will be the messages maybe you need to know right now from Spirit or what Spirit wants you to know. So please, I guess, take the messages that you feel resonate with you or they could be um, advice, guidance, clarity, confirmation, however it resonates for you. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female. And uh, we'll see what we get here for Taurus. So welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So I will pick three oracles from each deck, and then I'll clarify each oracle with a tarot card, one or two. And then I have these prayer cards at the end, and I'll put you a prayer at the end of the reading. So this is for Taurus. Spirit messages, what spirit wants you to know at this time. All right. And if you'd like to uh, go back and watch previous readings, your links are below for your general and love playlist. If you, um, I do consider them timeless, so if you'd like to go back, all the April readings are out. And there's a lot of stuff down there in the description box, how to reach out for per, uh, personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, social media links, decks I'm using. Tons of stuff down there, so please feel free to check it out. And if you're new and um, you like my style, how I read, uh, you know, check out my channel. You like what you see, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. All right, so what do we have for Taurus at this time? Messages that they need to know from Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female at this time. Hey, Spirit, thank you so much. We got one here. We got two more. If you would prefer me to pick these cards before I come on camera, I can do that. But I like to show the shuffling to show that the uh, cards are not uh, staged before I come on. So be patient with the shuffling. You can skip the head if you like to, or you can speed up the reading. All right, Taurus. What are the messages for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female, for the General Collective. This is a General Collective reading, not a uh, private reading. All right. What are the messages for Taurus? What do they need to know right now? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. The messages for Taurus at this time. Two more. All right, these two. So we have the uh, first deck there was the numerology, and that second deck is the moonology, and this one here is the soul's journey, and this is the chrysalis tarot. And those prayer cards I got at the Dollar Tree, so uh, I'm not even sure who makes them or what, but I figured there were two packs and they were different, so I said, oh, those will be cute, so I mixed them together. All right, messages for Taurus at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. One more. Okay, thank you. All right. Let's see what we have for you. We have manifestation. Eight. Eight is about taking action, communication, or traveling. So needing to uh, manifest something here. We have 22, intuition. Twos are about partnerships and unities, and added together is four is about stability and foundation. So needing to listen to your intuition about manifesting something here. And we have effort, 13, which is four, which is again about stability, foundation. So in yellow, you know, it's that solar plexus energy. So that's about your soul mission, your soul purpose, who you truly are, what you truly are, um, that kind of energy. So... <laughs> It's right here that listen to your intuition about manifesting something here that you've been wanting to do, something maybe you've been putting off. It could be a career, something with your career, um, a project, an endeavor, a hobby, I don't know, something here that you've wanted to manifest, but needing to listen to your intuition and actually putting in the effort to do that. So if that makes sense for any of you. Please only take these messages how they resonate for you. Um, so however that resonates for you, it's telling you, uh, whatever you're trying to do here, you know, manifest something, listen to your gut, your higher knowing, your intuition about this. And it's about putting in the effort. 
So we have confidence is key to your success. New moon in Leo. So Leo may mean something. Or the season of Leo, which is the end of July until August. So maybe you don't have confidence to put in the effort to manifest something in your life here. Whatever that may be. But it's saying here that confidence is your key to success. And that Leo lion energy uh, is that fire energy. Is that fire in your belly. Fire, passion. Uh, that fire energy is going after what you want. A lot of drive, ambition, and passion. And putting in the effort and going after it. A time for healing. So something may need healing here. And we have here a new start is coming. New moon. So we got balsamic moon, new, two new moons, and a balsamic moon. So there's definitely um, something new. You've been probably maybe wanting to try to manifest or wanting to manifest, but haven't haven't really putting been putting the effort into it. Maybe there's something that you need to heal um, within yourself or something around you. I don't know something here. Maybe that's prevent preventing you from putting in the effort to manifest something, but. It, <laughs> New, new and new. So two, three new actually with new moon, new moon, and a new start is coming. So, and it's all about having confidence and putting in the efforts. We have abundance. I am limitless being, and I can manifest. That's the second time manifest comes in here. Wow. Whatever I desire in the physical reality, and just to know that whatever you manifest here will bring you total abundance, happiness, joy, peace, clarity, uh, wealth, uh, prosperity, guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth. So if you're feeling maybe there's something having to do here with guilt over something that maybe you need to heal from, so whatever that means for you, that's maybe blocking you from manifesting something here and putting in the effort and maybe that healing or whatever this guilt is is blocking your confidence too. In your abundance here. And we have here envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And again, we have orange here, which is about that fire and passion. And so isn't this card. Yellow here, again, about, you know, that solar plexus and that soul mission purpose. So you could be envious or jealous um, of other people, maybe that are successful. Or maybe, you know, whatever path you wanted to go down, whatever you wanted to manifest and you didn't. Maybe you you could be jealous of people who have went down the path that you've wanted to and you never did. And being a little jealous of maybe certain people around you. So there could be a challenge here about healing something that could have to do with guilt, feeling guilty over something. It's time to release that and release that guilty feeling that makes sense for you and heal from that. Because I think it's blocking you from having confidence and blocking you from putting in the effort to manifest a new start here that will lead to all this abundance. Wow, so if that makes sense. This is kind of intertwining into all one reading here. And, in, you know, and it says a new start is coming. So if you, you know, feel it, that intuition that you feel the new start coming, then it's probably correct because it's right here. So what, however that means for you, whatever new start you're hoping for, you're wishing for, you're trying to start, whatever that may be, it's coming. Could be um, the next new moon is actually the 22nd. So, and I'm recording this on the 20th. So by the time this is released, the new moon will already have gone through. So probably by the next new moon, next month, because this is for May, so maybe the next new moon in uh, May. However, that makes sense for you. All right, Taurus, let's clarify manifestation here. What is that about for Taurus, the hermit energy here? So this is about going within and finding your way, your purpose, your light. Healing, it's also about healing. Uh, deep down soul searching work also, thinking, contemplating. So it's time to really think here about what it is that you've been wanting or trying to manifest or been delaying, putting off, and really digging down deep about this manifestation. How do I do it? What steps do I take? 
know, what do I need to heal? Um, what lessons have I learned to move forward and manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest here? All right. So what is this intuition about for Taurus? Ace of Wands. Wow. So there's your brand new beginning, and it's going to be something creative, it's exciting, feeling passionate about it, a new project, endeavor, a new job, um, or something like that. So listen to your, and I had felt that with the new start is coming, and if you feel like a new start is coming, then your intuition is probably correct, because here is the brand new beginning. It's very fiery, it's passionate, it's exciting. Like I said, a project, endeavor, um, whatever it is for you. That it is coming. Here it is. All right. Something to be excited about. Could be exciting new job offer. Uh, it could be an entrepreneurship kind of energy. All right. Let's see what effort is about for you, Taurus. So we have the King of Stones. So, and that's your energy. So. The King of Stones is someone who is stable, secure, grounded. They're smart, practical, analytical, very cautious. They take their time. They think things through thoroughly. Um, can be very good with you know finances and that kind of energy also. And this is someone who could own their own business or be well-to-do. So putting in the effort here, you can have this abundance and be this king or queen of pentacles that you're longing to be if you put in the dedicated effort. Because your new beginning is right here. So you really need to listen to your intuition from deep within with the Hermit energy and know that you can manifest this for yourself. There goes my cards on the floor. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. So let's clarify confidence is key to your success. Sorry, that's my chair. I got to get a new one. All right. Confidence is key to your success. What is that for? For Taurus, please. Thank you so much. Spirit. The devil. So, so, you know, the devil can talk about, can sometimes talk about, you know, addictions, obsessions, that kind of energy, or it can be negative thinking, low self-esteem, Fear, worry, doubt, anxiety, stress, um, not having that confidence. So, and I have felt that if you not having that confidence as with the devil en energy, like not feeling worthy, not feeling, you know, that low kind of energy, it doesn't have to be addictions or obsessions or um, that kind of energy, but it can be just like low vibrational energy. But it's telling you here, if you can come out of that energy as with the, Hermit energy that this confidence, rebuilding your confidence, will lead to your will be the key to your success. All right. So we have a time for healing, and we got the five of wands energy here. So this is about conflict or challenge, interference. So there might have been a conflict or something tumultuous uh, between you and another person or a situation that was very combative or uh, challenging that you really need to heal from. That's what I'm getting with that. So whatever that means for you, whatever, uh, if it was a fight, if it was just uh, something traumatic that you went through um, here, that maybe there's still energy that you need to heal from. And you could be feeling guilty over whatever that situation was, maybe feeling like it was your fault or something like that, but it's time to let that go and heal from it. I think it's holding you back. It's like holding your whole future back for some of you, Taurus, in some way. All right. What is a new start is coming? The Knight of Stones. So that's like getting ready. That's doing the work. It's a Knight of Stones that's taking action, but he's very slow moving. Again, he's like the king. He, this night he stops starts to take steps toward to being the king. So this new start is coming, and the night 
is like one step up from the page. So now the knight is ready to stop moving forward in a new beginning so he can be the king of pentacles. So just know this new start is coming. You get ready, you know, but again, being smart, practical, analytical, you know, slow and steady wins the race, uh, being cautious kind of energy, but being stable, grounded and secure. I know this can lead for long-term abundance here. That's your energy again uh, with the Knight of Stones. So, so what is this abundance for, for Taurus? What is abundance for, for Taurus? That's way too many. The world. Wow, your world could change drastically. Radically, even is just the word I got. Like a big radical change. Transformation here from healing, from letting go of things no longer serving you, putting in the effort, listen to your intuition, healing, and doing that deep down work that you need to do can lead to closing out all that energy and lead to a whole new world, a whole new cycle in life, growth, expansion to abundance here. Wow. All right, so what is, and that's a major thing, so that's a major arcana. So what is the guilt here for Taurus? Nine of stones. So this is a nine of pentacles energy. So maybe if you walked away from something here, because the nine of stones is a very independent, uh, stable kind of energy. It's uh, kind of a... Um, Somebody who's maybe alone or just very independent in their own right, but you see this person is walking away. Again, it could be male or female. So maybe you walked away from a person, a place, a thing, a situation. You're feeling guilty over that, but it was just to know it was for your own benefit. Because the nine of stones is very nine of stones is someone who's very secure, stable, grounded, having everything they need. Their finances are in check. They're good. They're taking care of themselves. In a good, they're in a good place, and they're able to. No, they have their nest egg there, everything they need, and they can venture off into new uh, territory and new things. So if you left something here and you ventured off on your own, whatever that was for you, maybe now you're feeling guilty. Maybe there was something here where there was, you know, that five of wands energy, like I said, you know, almost like a tower moment, something that was disruptive or combative or a challenge or something here. And maybe you decided to walk away. Now you're feeling guilty about the whole situation. But again, it's time to release it. And you see this person just kind of walking away from that energy and moving on. So it's time to move on from that energy. And that you do have the stability within yourself to venture out into new territory, new projects also. Something maybe you've been trying to manifest. All right, so what is this envy about for you, Taurus? Taurus. The lovers. So some of, for some of you, it could be about um, maybe you walked away from a soulmate, a person, a relationship for some of you. And maybe, you know, there's others around you that are still, you know, with their person. You see others that are in loving, you know, relationships and things like that. And maybe you're kind of envious of that energy. But, you know, I feel like, you know, if you're jealous of that, so let's, let's ask for one more. Four stones. So this is holding on to your stability, your foundation, holding on, but not giving either. So maybe you're not dating. Maybe you're not uh, seeing anyone either. And I think that's going to hold you back too. Because you may be a little defensive here with the Seven of Wands. Maybe time to let down your guard here. Get back out into the world, to the dating scene, when we're able to. Of course, we're all in quarantine right now. But, you know, maybe it's time to put yourself back out there and venture out into new territories, whatever they mean for you, and let down your guard a little bit here, Taurus. All right. So let's get a closing prayer for you, Taurus. Let's get a closing prayer for Taurus at this time. Spirit, please. Closing prayer for Taurus. What is the closing prayer for Taurus? These cards are kind of hard to shuffle. Right, let's take that one. 
and we have in everything give thanks so whatever you've been through here probably was for you to learn lessons um to grow you know to heal so you know just be give thanks for everything here they tell me to take this top one i wanted to pop out too for i know the plans i have for you so the divine knows the plans they have for you and you have this energy here uh that is waiting for you i feel taurus Okay, Taurus, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.